Hello friends, it's been a minute, but I'm back. It's about 9 a.m. I just got back from the gym. I've been trying morning workouts this week at a new gym that I just joined. So I'm still in my gym clothes and I'm gonna change into my work from home outfit for today. I got this new matching set from Los Angeles Apparel and I'm obsessed with it. It's the 14 ounce hoodie line, I think. So all the fabric is super heavy and super cozy. I've been on a hunt for a really good hoodie and this one is close to perfect. My only quarrels with this hoodie is that I wish the neckline was a little bit wider. I got the sweatpants that goes with it and it's also that same heavy weight, really thick material, which is perfect for the winter time. I've been trying to drink less caffeine lately. I found that reducing my caffeine intake was really helping my period each month. So I've only been treating myself to caffeine here and there, but today is one of those days where I feel like I need a fully caffeinated coffee. I'm heating up some meal prep I made Sunday for my lunch today. I made these like Mediterranean chicken bowls and they've been my latest obsession. It's really simple and really good. Hey everybody, Otis is here to join us for a chat. Um, he definitely needs a little bit of a haircut. It's been a minute. Let's see, when did I upload last? The last time I uploaded a YouTube video was five months ago and I've definitely really missed making YouTube videos. I started craving filming and vlogging about a couple weeks back and I'm finally getting around to it. If anyone remembers in the last video that I made, I talked about how I was gonna take a break and then I was working on this project and I was gonna come back and show you all what the project was, but uh, I, didn't, I never ended up working on a project. What my original plan was, was to take a break and then spend the time putting together like a short film series, something where I can have more time to write, film, and edit. Because I had just recently finished a filmmaking class at that time and I wanted to put some of those skills to use. But then as soon as I stopped making videos and I took a break from YouTube, I quickly realized how badly I needed that break. I was honestly just a very stressed person, like working a nine to five, making YouTube videos while trying to like make friends, maintain your own physical and mental health, spend time with your significant other, take care of a dog, it was just a lot. And I was a very stressed person and that made me a very snappy, irritable. Moving forward, I don't think I'll be uploading every week anymore. I still love making videos and I really craved filming and vlogging when I took my break. So I think I'm probably just gonna upload intermittently whenever the creative energy strikes me. I have been uploading on TikTok a little bit more though because I've found that making TikTok videos is way less time consuming. They're shorter, easier to plan and film. So definitely follow me on TikTok if you're interested in seeing more content from me. You might have noticed that the background is completely different and that's because I've moved apartments. I still live in Seattle, Washington, but my boyfriend and I moved apartments because we found a place that was bigger, for cheaper rent and the location is not so bad. So we did move and I'm loving the new place. Although when I moved here, I wasn't really considering the lighting for filming purposes. So it is definitely very dark inside this apartment right now, but it is also the winter season in Seattle, which is notoriously cloudy and dark all the time. So that's definitely feeding into it. And I'm hoping the apartment will get brighter as we move into spring and summer. The lighting in the apartment when I'm not filming, it's honestly totally fine. I kind of enjoy the dim lighting. It's very cozy and relaxing, but for filming purposes, it's definitely a little dark. But right now it's working out. I kind of like the, the moodiness 
that my videos are giving off in this new lighting situation. I've also just been really focused on my career at work. I've been talking to my manager about planning my next promotion and trying to work towards that. I've been getting back into a workout routine and I've been getting into a lot of creative hobbies like playing with polymer clay, illustration, painting. I really wanna get back into pottery and I've just been spending a lot of time with friends as well. About a year ago, I had a friendship breakup with probably one of my closest friends in the city that I'm currently living in. And I was really sad about that for a little while and uh, had to kind of start over and make new friends. I've always personally kind of struggled to make time for friends, um, which is maybe a selfish trait. I just have a lot of hobbies that I enjoy doing alone and I find a hard time balancing doing all the things that I want to do alone as well as doing things with people and then doing everything else that I need to do but that has been a theme of my life trying to do too much all the time so I'm aware of that and I'm working on it I do need to get back to work now let me know in the comments below what you've been into lately I love getting nosy and hearing what people are doing with their free time Good morning, everybody. Let's get ready to go to the office today. First, I'm gonna start with the bottoms, and I think I'm gonna wear these Everlane trousers on the bottom. They're a little wrinkly, but I think it'll be fine. You can't really see on camera, but they're much wrinklier than I expected, so I think I'm gonna go with a different pair of pants. I'm gonna swap those out for my Abercrombie & Fitch beige trousers instead. I recently went and got a new basic tee from Uniqlo. It's only $20, so really affordable. I've never gotten basics from Uniqlo before somehow, so I'm excited to try it, see how I like this tee. I'm gonna throw on this knit from Everlane. I think it's showing up a little black on camera, but it's a dark navy blue. What I'm hoping is happening is that this white t-shirt kind of pops up at the top, so I have a little bit of layering at the neckline. What I do is I'm gonna tuck these pants in the front, and I'm gonna add a belt. I've been meaning to add to my belts collection though, so if you have any belts you really like and recommend, let me know in the comments below. I think I'm looking for some belts with gold buckles, because all the belts I have right now have silver buckles. Stretch it up a little bit in the front, maybe a little tuck in the back. And my recent big purchase are these new leather boots. These boots are just so gorgeous. I've been eyeing them for a very long time. The sizing was a little weird. Normally I'm a size 8, but I went for a size 8 and a half. I definitely need to tailor these pants. They're way too long. I think I like them. I feel like my foot is sliding around a little bit, but the size 8 was like way too tight. This is the outfit of the day. Now let's go to the office. There's no use in trying, and even if you could, it wouldn't come up like it should. This stubborn cuts it just covers these words. Could you listen to somebody else? Will you only drink from the thoughts of yourself? Are you? I just finished work for the day. I'm going to head home now. The work day today was kind of crazy. I was actually really stressed this morning because I just had a lot of things that need to be done really soon. But I managed to work things out, figure out what to prioritize and got everything done in time or got it pushed back so I could handle all the top priority stuff first. But all in a day's work. 
you're gonna have to ignore the back of the car it's really messy because we moved recently and i still haven't fully unloaded the car A miracle has happened in my first meeting today is being moved to Monday, <sighs> which gives me a little bit more time to get myself together for the day. I made myself a matcha, but transparently I'm not very good at making matcha yet. So it kind of just tastes like water. Usually my Fridays are pretty chill work-wise, but today for some reason I just have back-to-back -back meetings all morning. I'm so happy it's Friday regardless of all the meetings. I've had these Bose headphones for a couple years now, but the ear pads are like, completely coming apart so i learned that you can buy replacements online so i ordered some replacements from amazon and i'm gonna see if this works yeah, could you see what this is this is a part of it all They're like brand new. Instead of the work day, I didn't really film much because I was just busy in calls all day, but I'm gonna change it to some workout clothes. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do for working out yet. I don't know if I'm just gonna go on a run or if I'm gonna go to the gym or if I'm gonna go climbing, but we're just gonna get in the workout clothes first. As we're entering the weekend, I was trying to think of like, what is my ideal weekend? And I think my ideal weekend would start on Thursday. So like Thursday evening, I need to have like a get my life together kind of day so that I don't enter the weekend with a super messy house. Then on Friday, I would ideally have time to do something active. Maybe it's something active with friends, or maybe it's a quick run, or maybe it's going to the climbing gym with friends. I'm not a big going out person, but sometimes it is nice to have a late night out on Friday because it makes your weekend feel really long. But I think starting Friday early, like if I'm able to finish work at 4 p.m., starting Friday early kind of has the same effect where it makes the weekend feel really long. Saturday, ideally, is a fun day. It would be ideal to have some alone time to rot and relax, but also have something planned for later in the evening. My perfect Sunday would be just having the whole day open. I'd probably start trying to get my life together for the week again, but having a rec league sport to play. So like a game every Sunday or something so that I get something active in, but then I can also have some fun and see some friends. Honestly, my biggest theme for the weekend is just not having to show up anywhere by a certain time. As much as I love workout classes, I canceled class pass because I just didn't want to have to be at places at certain times. I already have to like constantly watch the clock and make sure I'm on time for things related to work that when I'm outside of work, I just want to have all my time be free and not have anything planned to the point where I have to be watching the clock and making sure I'm not running late and having to show up on time. Hi everybody, happy Saturday. I've had the most relaxing morning. Julian left really early today to go skiing, so I had the morning to myself. I woke up naturally without an alarm clock. I had some tea. I took my dog, Otis, and also my friend's dog, Tiny, that I'm dog sitting on a long walk. Made some breakfast and watched a bunch of YouTube videos under a fuzzy blanket. My boyfriend, Julian, and I cleaned the house yesterday, so I was able to wake up to a clean home and it just felt so good. So my Saturday has been off to a very good start. The weather this weekend is also just amazing. It's sunny, it's warm, and we haven't had a sunny warm weekend in Seattle in so long. If you're not familiar with the city of Seattle, it is gloomy and rainy all winter long. So I'm really excited about the weather this weekend and I'm gonna try to get outside as much as possible. It's almost noon and I have a haircut appointment at 2 p.m. But before I go to the haircut appointment, I wanna get my workout in. I've been feeling really excited about getting back into a good workout routine. I wanna journal more, meditate more, spend less time on my phone. It's actually crazy how much time I waste on my phone and how much time I can get back in a day if I just spend less time on my phone. I wanna read more, 
drink more matcha and tea and drink more water and just take care of myself more so like more skincare more hot baths more everything showers and i'm really excited about it i'm really excited about the prospects of this i am interested to see how this plays into my menstrual cycle i do get pretty intense pms around my period where i'm just really lethargic i have a ton of cravings i'm anticipating i'm gonna have to do a little trial and error and, and figuring out what works and what doesn't work but for now, I think I'm gonna go on a run right now and I'm gonna try to aim for a 45 minute run. I've been trying to rebuild up my running endurance, but I've only been running like 10 minutes on a treadmill at a time. So a 45 minute is quite a jump, but I'm thinking the weather is so nice outside and I'm gonna go really slow that hopefully it's possible. I run, I took a shower, and this is my outfit. I'm gonna head out to my haircut, and I'm going to go to a coffee shop afterwards to get a little bit of work done. I'm going to pair this outfit with my Onitsuka tiger shoes that my brother got for me from Japan. I'm so obsessed with these shoes. I feel like they just complete the outfit. Still so sweaty from that run. Like, I, I don't know if this happens to you all, but after I run, I continue to sweat for like an hour afterwards. I am running a little bit late to my hair appointment. Checking when the next bus gets here. Oh, actually, I got time. There's gonna be a bus in eight minutes. It's 7.20 p.m. now, and I'm about to head to Fremont, which is another neighborhood in Seattle, to go bar hopping with some friends. I did a quick outfit change. I changed this dark green hoodie from Lonely Ghost because it's St. Patty's weekend, and I wanted to be a little bit festive, but I don't really have that much green in my closet, so this is, this is all I could find. I did get my hair cut. I don't know how much you can see it on camera right now because it is a little dark in this apartment, but I got my bangs touched up. I got my hairline in the back cleaned up. I got my hair thinned out and I also just got a little bit of a trim. But yeah, I'm very happy with it. She did a really good job. This is my second time going to this hairstylist and I will be going back again. I wanted to reflect on my run from earlier a little bit. My goal was to go for a 45 minute zone two run. Zone two refers to the range I want my heart rate at, which is a relatively low range. So it was supposed to be an easy 45 minute run. I was out there for a total of 45 minutes and I covered a distance of 3.73 miles. My first mile was probably my best one at a 10 minute 22 pace. My second mile was at a 13 minute nine second pace, which is a lot slower. And this is because I accidentally went into this park that is really really hilly i ended up having to go uphill for a very long time and i switched to walking for a portion of the second mile for the third mile i was back on flat ground and i was definitely a little bit tired after those hills so my pace was 11 minute 24 second pace and the final fourth mile which i didn't do a full mile but i was running it at a 13 minute 39 second pace and that's also because I walked like the last five minutes. This run was supposed to be zone two and I'm still learning how to pace myself when I run. I ended up spending most of this run in zone three, which was not my intention. I try to stay in zone two as much as possible, but paying attention to my heart rate zone was so helpful on this run because I think previously I would be running and then I get to a point where I feel really tired, like I really have to walk and I didn't know whether I was at a point where I should listen to my body and stop or whether it was a point where I could push myself further. And on this past run, if I felt that, like I felt like I had to walk, I just checked my watch and I usually saw that I was at a much higher heart rate zone than I was intending to. So I just slowed down, tried to lower my heart rate back to zone two and they just helped me a lot with being able to continue on and complete the whole 45 minutes. Overall, it was a very, very enjoyable run. Definitely painful at times, especially when I was going uphill for a long period of time on the second mile. But 
the weather was just so nice today. So many people were out and about. It felt really, really good to be outside and I felt really, really good afterwards. Today has honestly been a very, very ideal Saturday. I feel like I refilled my personal cup by going on that run, getting my hair cut and getting my taxes and budgeting together. Now I'm gonna reward myself. I'm gonna go to Fremont, Seattle. I'm gonna go enjoy hanging outside and socializing with some of my friends. But otherwise, I think this is where the vlog ends. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to keep up with more of my content, follow me on Instagram and TikTok and subscribe below. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.